July's done. Like, it's next week and then it's August. It's a back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. It is a weird day outside. I don't know whether it's gonna rain, if it's hot, if it's cold. So we're just gonna go. My neighbor invited me up for some coffee and I was like, you know what? We're gonna do things a little different this Sunday. Usually I wake up early. I do yoga if I'm not at church and then I get into the day. But we're gonna do coffee, editing, because I have to put some finishing touches. While that's rendering, then I'll do yoga. I think that's the most productive way to use up the rest of this day because before we know it, Monday's gonna come and then we're gonna be on our grind. So let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited for this coffee. Small lattes. Thank you. There are so many people in this building. Can you hear that? Okay, of course, when I ask you guys, can't hear it anymore but I swear I hope there's no flies or bees from when I were when I was out on the balcony yesterday so this will be the end but I told myself just put the finishing touches and get the blog up that was three hours ago so I'm really really done I'm just gonna put the end card on and then render like I said and do my yoga sash I'm already dressed for it anyway and then I'm gonna deep clean my house and I might even do my pause tonight instead of tomorrow so I can see my brother if he's still free. I haven't seen him in so long, so bad. So bad. Okay. Let's just pop this here. And what in the witchcraft is a goddess pose? Never again. Never, never, never again. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I ever go to a yoga class and she tells me to hit the goddess pose because it's a no. <gasps> I just realized I didn't do my intro. See? So now I have to press. I don't know what my. Uh, before the title card, I like to put like a little blurb so you can get some personality. And there isn't anything there, so I'm gonna have to add something. But I don't remember what I said that gives personality. You might need to bend your knees to the back of me, like you're in your assistance of art. Agent in the back body, lift your hips up, inhale, draw your right knee into your chest, step your right foot forward, kind of. This Hot on Sundays, but you know, I really want to make this a self care Sunday on top of cleaning like a real freak. So I figured I might as well journal a little bit and then whatever comes to me on these pages, I'll turn into a pod. I did remember I came the year before the pandemic. I saw you in Atlanta, Orlando as well, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So then maybe I'm your shadow. Maybe Auntie Davis is your second shadow then. Hi, Auntie Jess. Yeah. I say I have a favorite because I have a lot of aunties. My mom has a lot of siblings. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. At one point there was 21, but as long as my mom's been alive, I think there's only been 15, and she's the youngest girl, but the second youngest. So I got lots of aunties and uncles, and even more cousins on cousins on cousins on cousins. I need to do better reconnecting with the fam. I wish we could have a fam jam. We were supposed to have a reunion here in 2020, but something happened. I wonder what it was that caused it to get canceled. So I swear that year, that time threw a wrench in so many people's plans. I think that's why so many people are having weddings and babies right now, because everyone's trying to make up for the lost time. It wasn't just 2020, it was like the past two, three years. So hopefully, I get to see Auntie before she goes back to Antigua because I haven't seen her in three years. And for the rest of this night, I'm gonna finish journaling. I still haven't done my pod yet, so I probably will before I go to bed because I'm getting really inspired and tired, even though it's not that late. As a thing, they say scientifically you're not supposed to work on your bed or have your workspaces, figure one and two, around where you sleep because then your brain doesn't register that this space is sacred for sleeping. Small space problems, so there's that. <laughs> hey guys, happy Monday. I had a very good gym sesh. I thought about bringing you down, but I was worried there'd be plenty of people there. There's no one there. Bring you down Wednesday. I did cardio and abs. They're slowly but surely coming back. And now we're gonna flip and put these away. I was thinking about making coffee. I went to bed at one and I woke up at four and I couldn't go back to sleep. It was so weird. So sorry if I'm talking really softly. I'm just really tired. I think we're gonna have to have a matcha moment. One day I hope to have one of those stoves that don't have these things. So I don't have to worry about washing them and matching them up. But until then, when my neighbors came by this week, they're like, what happened? Oh, they replaced your door. But what's this part? <laughs> This one is this one, the big one. I moved here in December of 2017, and I wonder if back then, stainless steel was popping, because that is what's trendy. It makes me wonder what the next trend will be. Lately, I've been cheating. Instead of whisking, I've been putting it in the milk proper so it mixes with it. All the places that I could afford look horrible. This was like the most beautiful place, and it was a little out of what I could afford at the time. But every other place, I don't know if I would have survived, honestly. Some of the apartments I looked at were in very questionable neighborhoods or were definitely infested or possessed, like mess. <laughs> I just wonder what my next place would be like. I don't want to look too far in the future, but I still want to be positive and progressive, you know? I did one of my pods last night, which was good. I mentioned to you guys yesterday that Trev, my brother, like, hey, you free Monday? I'm like, no, Mondays are the worst because I have to prep for being in office on Tuesday and Wednesday. Mondays are just hectic at work. And I have my two podcasts I have to record, edit, and upload. Sometimes I also have to edit my vlog, but luckily I have that up and stuck finally on a Sunday. So, oh shoot, you know what I... Oh, I was supposed to sift it. another one. I just don't know where it is. 
you so much for being a Torontonian. I think it's at Mall Aspen Square, but I never go there. Either way, it's a pretty day, so I'm glad that I got out and went for a walk. And you saw there's a little festival or... I don't know what they're selling with the kiosks over there. Hopefully I can get out of here going this way. I have a feeling I'm going to walk up to a gate. <sighs> the good thing about being a tourist in my own city is I don't feel weird about having my camera out, although... Sometimes people stare, but let me tell you, the best thing about being legally blind is you can't really tell, so I mean, there's yeah. the This is perfect, this is peaceful. You didn't get this? I'm going for it. Oh no, but that, that one. Okay, yes. Auntie Rose Auntie Or we need to check the menu. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? Esther. We took her out for lunch. Wow. Let me go wash my hands while you yeah, you got just ridiculously. You see him? He's always making fun of me. I'm not making fun. Would you like fun. me to take a funny. photo of him, guys? Oh yeah, oh, that would be nice. Oh, okay, I mean, you know, too many empty cars. Healthy is now. Is not you have an exercise machine in your place? Fit. It's more as for my get, like, heart health. Yeah, exactly. As long as you get some cardio. Yeah. Just come on, Uncle. You know the drill. <laughs> The camera eats first. That's what they said in Portugal. Uh, yeah. I've watched every episode of it. The only one I liked this time was Jane is Awful. What a perfect way to wrap up Wednesday. I'm so happy I got to see my aunties and uncles. All three of them are visiting. One lives in Antigua, the other resides in NC, North Carolina. And uncle, the one that was roasting me, well, let's just say he's international. That's the easiest way to explain it. I'm going to take off this work clothes, switch into a yoga fit, do a quick sesh, and then I have to do a planning meeting tonight. Well, why am I taking off my pants? <laughs> I'm still talking to you guys. That's how you know. I woke up at 5 a.m. I went to bed at 1. I don't know why I woke up at 5. I can't tell you guys. So I'm all over the place. Even earlier today, someone was like, did you mean to? No. For the last two days, I've just... Just let it be. <laughs> I was supposed to get my glasses fixed. My coworkers actually went with me to Lens Crafter, but no one was there. The phone was ringing so badly that I was about to go around the corner and be like, good afternoon, Lens Crafter, how may I help you? Can you see this or no? Like, I know my head is big, but it really isn't this big. I don't know what happened. And the last time I tried to stretch a pair of glasses and fix them properly, I broke them, so I'm not gonna do that. I don't know if I'll wait until I do my Zara pickup. I ordered some sandals to replace the ones that I broke. If you know, you know. So if not, I might just MacGyver the situation on my own, but we shall see. I'll probably catch in with you guys. Check in or catch up. I was trying to say two things at the same time. With you guys tomorrow. I'm trying to think, do I have anything planned for Thursday night? No. That's why you didn't see me yesterday, because nothing really interesting happened. Just my normal routine, a little bit of editing, a lot of cleaning and cooking. Oh, and I was also, yeah, there was something else that I did that I'll probably tell the Patreon fan. I've become a little bit more guarded in the last couple weeks and months, if you haven't noticed. I think I might even take, let's put the brush drops today. I might even take a break with the vlogs just to get some things in order. But I have realized that some people I know in my real life watch my vlogs, but they don't have my best interests at heart. So I'm very cautious about what I say nowadays, which is so sad. Because I'm not the type of person to waste my time watching someone I don't like. So for someone to do that in real life, I wish I had the time because I would do something else with the time. But to each their own, I suppose. Afternoon, loves. It's been a hot minute since I've gone for a walk during my lunch break on a work from home day. It's another scorcher. I love it. I'm just wearing this outfit. I'm gonna go get a new prescription for Noxy for my skin. Then I'm gonna run into Lulu to see if they restocked on something. And if I have time, I'm gonna go to a Sage too because I'm out of a couple of essential oils. looking for that yellow I showed you guys a couple months ago. I think it's sold out. It's this color. But it's only on the sale rack. It's peach I already have. I don't to be sure. I guess it is discontinued. It's this. 
的吗？I don't have an umbrella. I hope I make it home before the thunderstorm. But when I tell you, it started to pitter patter at the crosswalk just before my plates. So tonight is going to be an editing night. Can you hear that? Literally, just got in. Holy God, I would have been so mad if I got caught out in that. And I stayed a little longer than I should have because they don't have proper fans there. Time. The last three times, the last three times they said severe thunderstorm, they were all the ways wrong. But this time, I could smell it in the air. You remember that girl from Mean Girls? She's like, I can tell it's raining. Meanwhile, it's raining. <laughs> I tell you that I might have had 20 minutes of sleep, if that. I can't even begin. Yes, I finally started to fall asleep somewhere between 4 and 5 a.m. I do know that. My friend called me before 6 or after 6 to say she gave birth. It's her firstborn, so I'm happy for her. I just wish I was sleeping well, because I would have gotten up around that time anyway. It's just that I couldn't sleep last night. So much is going on. This just arrived though. I got it from Savile Skirt. First time I've had to pay duty there. I hope I bought the right size. I don't own slides. I've never had slides in my whole life, but I thought these were pretty. Just eight. Oh lord. Yeah, 38. 38 is eight, no? In Australia. I bought a shoe from Savile before and it was 38. I'm running on fumes right now, guys. Yeah, this is an eight. But look. Every time he laughs. I'm trying. I came home last night, showered, slept. So we're gonna unbox this. Two packages from good old Tara. Wait, is this upside down? Is my address on here? <laughs> That. And I'm also going to lunch, not brunch, lunch later today. I was thinking about wearing this dress since I haven't taken a photo in it and I initially bought it for Portugal, but you know how that story goes. Whirlwind. Make sure that I'm actually in the frame today because yesterday I filmed. Just gotta angle you guys up to make sure. Oh. Oh. Wow. They could have put it all in the box. Okay, I got this from Zara Home. Listen, let me put you on Zara Home. If you want nice decor, Nice anything. Okay, this I bought, and I should have bought two or three because this is so beautiful. I, I look at it randomly when I'm working because it's right there. Even when it's not lit, it's so pretty to me. But I got that when Zara Home existed in Toronto. The stores are no longer here, but you can still order online, and it ships within a good amount of time. It takes a little bit longer than Zara clothes because it's coming from Europe, you know, but like if you could feel this, whew, so I wanted to get a new dish towel. I'm slowly but surely trying to add a little bit extra to my place to make it feel different. Not new necessarily, because there's not that much I can do in a bachelor, but different. So I know this sounds weird and it's probably like a super random thing to purchase to try to spruce up the place, but hopefully over the next couple of weeks, you'll see it come together. That's just the start of something new. Then let's get into some clothes. Let it rip. That's like a Beyblade, if you know, you know. So I was too old for Beyblades. I saw these pants and I couldn't resist because you saw the vlog where I was looking at the pattern pants in Mango. I used to love Mango. 
they existed for a bit here. I don't know what happened. Every mango store closed up, left, and then they came back this year, but it just hasn't been hitting the same. At least the pattern is connecting, unlike the ones I showed you that day after work. So we'll see. Because I was thinking about pairing this with this black tank that I bought, was it last summer on sale or the summer before from Aritzia Wilfred? I bought it and I'm like, I have nothing to pair it with because it's so basic that if I wear it with jeans, it looks frumpy. It looks, I don't want to say lazy because you can't go wrong with a t-shirt and jeans. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm going to tell you guys something. Even though there are 38, when you actually read the detail, because the size chart is not right on there, but in the details tab, it actually says, and I'm so embarrassed, I should have read it before I hit click. These run small and then it puts equivalents and it says, this one is a seven. My feet are seven and a half, so it's always safer to go eight. That's my bad. I might order a new pair today. We'll see. But hopefully one of these three work for me so I can wear them today when I go to lunch. The rhinestones, can you see? Hopefully. Aren't they so pretty? And they have a little bit of squishy, squishy. I'm always checking out the sandal part because last time I bought sandals from Zara, I had to buy them two times because they cracked on the same side. I purchased another pair, the same thing happened, and I'm like, I'm not purchasing it a third time. That's just a waste because Zara's more affordable, but it ain't that cheap. And then there's these, which I also thought were super pretty. And for those of you who've been watching me for a few months or a little while, these look very similar to the ones that I got for my trip from Steve Madden, but again, I bought the wrong size. They were too small, so I couldn't even wear them. I ended up wearing the same shoes for five days on a trip. Talk about smart packing, even though I did bring the other pair. Lastly, and these are the ones I'm most excited about, are these ones, because you know. You know, you know, you know. I'm always here for a good gold moment. I bought them all in... What is it? Zara 6.7, which is their seven and a half. I keep these bags. You know how clutch they are when you travel? You can put your bathing suits, bikinis, dirty laundry in them. I remember Muji gifted me those package bags, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you can, the mesh bags that you put in your luggage to separate everything. I love those too. They're really good quality, but if you want something cheap, this is a good alternative. That's not me. These look like they're not comfortable or sustainable though. They also look tiny, which is weird. So I might just order these again, even though July's done. Like it's next week and then it's August. Fall comes in with a vengeance and all the people that love fall are so happy when September feels like fall. And I'm like, hoo, hoo, hoo. why couldn't summer stay a couple weeks longer? I wear my new dress instead. I haven't really put together outfits this summer or even this year. If you realize a lot of times I just wear one pieces or I put together the same pieces over and over again. I haven't really styled anything this season. I don't know if I'm going to take an OOTD. I've been slacking with my IG, but if you haven't already, support and follow me. I do want to do a giveaway by the end of the summer, so we shall see. This is not the top that I bought these pants for, but it goes together well. I love these sandals. Kind of long. It's going to be awkward with the split there, but I like it. Just be it. The shoes, though, are no. I wanted to love them, but even though they're the exact same size as the other two I tried, gargoyle feet. The tools are going over the edge, and they don't really fit that well either anyway.
drop this for uh, Aunt Sophie. Yeah, we're just here at Pigeon Cafe on King. It's a really pretty place. I think they said they opened up just two months ago. It's really giving brunch. Even though they said they're open all day, I guess they don't serve for a couple hours. A lot of people came and they drove away. Here for part two. I'm going to see the movies with my family. I haven't been to this theater in years and it's right around the corner. I am so thirsty. 